Hi everybody, it's Cheryl with the Craft Knot 32 and I just wanted to show you some cards and other projects I've been working on. I've been doing a series, um, Christmas Cards and Tags, and today I'm going to wrap that up with my final three cards. These cards I've created are for my three boys, so they're all very similar but a little different. The first card I'm going to show you is for my youngest son. It's a portrait style card. It's blank inside, we're just going to write him a little note. He's still really young, so it's not going to be too much. The snowman is from Doodle Charms. The little Christmas tree is from Stretch Your Imagination. The sentiment is a scrappy mom's. There's no one like you, and I just thought that was so cute. The um, embossed paper behind it is with the snowflakes and cuddlebug embossing folder. So this one I thought just nice and simple. Actually, all three of them are simple. I have distressed the edge of the snowman with broken china distress ink, kind of give them some shape against the white snow. I have created for my eldest son, who's really into penguins right now, a penguin Merry Christmas card. So again, all of them are going to have the little Christmas tree, and they all have the embossed paper with the snowflakes embossing folder. This guy is from Create a Critter. I believe he was cut at two and three quarters. The sentiment is a scrappy mom sentiment. So there is my second card for my oldest son. And for my middle son, he loves the gingerbread man right now. So I have created him a gingerbread card. His favorite color is green, so I have used green Martha Stewart um, Baker's Twine. The Baker's Twine on the second card was also Martha Stewart. Where this guy is cut out from Paper Doll Dress Up. They have cut out like little um, designs. You couldn't really see it. So I just went along with my gel pen over the designs give it some little shape and some life. The face is a um, Peachy Keen Stamps. I used my Cuddlebug, or sorry, my Gypsy, and I just um, hid the cutouts for the eyes and the mouth. And then I stamped it on. Again, the Christmas tree is from Stretch Your Imagination. I don't know if I mentioned that with the other cards, but all three were the same. My son and I have been collecting gel pens at Michael's with the coupon, um, the 40% off coupon. So they've been about a dollar and change. So we've been having a lot of fun doing that. So I've stitched some green faux stitching around the edge for him. And again, use, using green, it was his favorite. So I stamped the sentiment on the inside. And again, this is a Scrappy Mom stamp from their Holiday Wishes stamp set. And that is my third card. So I thought I'm going to hide those three in the tree, so once they're finished with some presents, they can then go and look for a card, or however they find it. All three of them will have the same tag. I've used the same features from the card. I've embossed it with the um, Snowflakes Cuddlebug embossing folder, and I've used the Christmas tree from Stretch Your Imagination. So I ca like keeping it all simple. I love when... I remember when my sister and I were really little, we'd have the same gift with different colors or um, different sizes, that kind of thing, and I loved it. So I just decided that I would do that with my boys and kind of create like a uniform feeling, and it's something they can see their brother opening and then look for their own, and I love that. So I hope they do too. We're going to my mother-in-law's for Christmas dinner, and on Boxing Day, I'm hosting supper for my mom and my sister and her family. So I've made some napkin rings. We have a beautiful kind of gold-colored tablecloth. Um, and it has poinsettias all through it. So it's hard to describe. I should have shown you, but it would have been a lot. But it's a beautiful. It was from Avon a couple of years ago. I have created a napkin ring to kind of pull through. We have six linen napkins, so I'm going to use that. And I have created that for one of each. And then just a little fun thing. I know I've seen this a lot. I don't know who initially I saw it from, but I've seen a lot of them out there. This is um, a caramel bar, and I'm going to give this with a Christmas card and, and a Tim Hortons gift card for my son's teachers. So I had I made this up this afternoon, and last year I made it for their teachers, and the boys loved it. So they asked, actually, if I could make it again for their teachers for this year. So my two older boys are in school, so I've created two, one for each of their teachers. And that was pretty easy to do. It's just a red paper wrapped around. I've cut a black strip and I've glued it at the back here. This is cut from Wild Card on the envelopes too. It's the icon, I believe. I think this is cut at three and a half. It's really little, so if you want to have like a, 
a better idea, I did not put it on the real dial size cut from my Cricut, I just cut it, so I had to fiddle, I had to cut quite a few actually, to get it to a proper size. It started off cutting it really small. This is just a rectangle I cut, and I distressed it with my paper distressor. Then I used some vintage photo ink. It's not really showing up. I should have used something a little darker, but I'm, I'm happy with how it turned out. It was just supposed to be something quick. So I have those things made up, and I think that's about it for now. I hope everyone has a Merry Christmas. I'm going to take a break from making videos just for a little while, and um, finish wrapping all my gifts, and I have some baking to do, and visiting with family, so I hope everyone has a very Merry Christmas, and I hope you all have a Happy New Year. Thanks for watching. Bye!